Love thy neighbor? Mm, turns out not all Americans agree. A new survey from Lending Tree revealed that 73% or about three out of four people Whoa. hate at least one of their neighbors. The biggest reasons were their neighbor gave off weird vibes, followed closely by noisy and rude neighbors, then annoying pets, and finally nosy busy bodies. And it turns out one in 10 Americans have actually moved neighborhoods because of disagreements with neighbors. We got to ask our DBL Nation, do you like your neighbor? Go to dblvote.com. Tell us what you're feeling. I want to start with Jeff. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'm happy to be in that 27%. I love my neighbor. What that's about my that's a big deal. Yeah, this is our first house. So I never had like actual, I had like people next door to me and you're always like the noise and things like that. But we had kids, so I think we were the nosy, our noisy yeah. neighbors. But it's such, it's so great to live in like a community where the kids next door could play on both sides. They're great chefs. One guy's an ex-military guy. One guy's an ex-wrestler. Come get some. The other guy's got a ton of guns over there. Yeah, I'm like, and they barbecue. What's up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good time. Yeah. Sam, what about you? I love our neighborhood. I'm right. in the same boat as 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 Jeff. I do have one neighbor, but we love him. But he is, you know, I I, I always every time he pops over the fence, it reminds me of um, home improvement. Yeah. Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we'll be like, what's up? I won't say his name, but we talk every day, and he talks to the kids. But literally, he peeks his little head over all the time. Now, if we didn't like him, would be a it would not be a good thing, yeah, but we I, do. I, Erica, what about you? Um, we're pretty good with our neighbors. Um, well, our actual, so it's weird because we do live in the city. And so there's like, a, we have a very diverse neighborhood, which is part of the reason why we moved to that particular neighborhood. So we do have issues with some people. Um, we definitely, like we just had a BB gun incident uh, coming from one of the neighbors. Um, so there's been some things, but but the people who are like immediately around us were good and they know that I'm neighborhood watch because I will pull a ring camera in a moment. Yes. Like, oh, this happened. Oh, this is the license plate. Like, <laughs> I'm like, good for that. I so don't that's think, I, what Eric, about you, I, I was going to say really quickly, see, I don't think Erica's really being honest about I was, like, the great stories. I know. Like, I was like, we need Janine. We need Janine well, in yes. here. Didn't somebody like release some wild animals yes. or something? Yes. Tell uh, the story, please. Well, so I'm leaving and all of a sudden this vehicle pulls up and the guy is like staring at me as I'm leaving out the house. So I got really nervous, like, well, what's going to happen? So I kind of stopped. He keeps waiting until I start moving. So I turn and I'm walking the dog and then I just take a few steps and I look back and he goes in the back of his truck and pulls out this bag that's moving. <laughs> and I was like, what is going on? And he released like three, like a, I don't know if it was a gopher. I don't know what it was. <laughs> there were three of them gopher. and they go scurrying yep. across, like over across the street into our backyard. I don't know what happened to them. I never saw them. They like should have been really, Okay, Erica sent me this video and I died because it was like, <laughs> first of all, there's things that happen all the time on your ring camera. Erica catches it left and right. You're right about that. However, when you release an animal, you release it like in a pasture or a field. He released it in front of Erica's house. Yeah, he no, wasn't I following know. through on his job. He He's just like, read I'm a different hungry. website. I thought it said Erica's house, not the wildlife. So yeah. weird. So I weird. I know. But I feel like that you had one past neighbor story. There had to have been with you. Past. Even if it's an apartment building where you clashed heads. <laughs> I had roommates I've clashed heads oh. Yeah, that, yeah. I, I think the roommate, it depends on like if you've lived in a lot of big cities, obviously you can't buy a house, so it's the weird neighbors. I think for me, and I kind of see the, like we have a situation where, I don't know if it's a rental situation, but it mm -hmm. seems like every nine months there's just brand new people, so it's new energy. Oh. Sometimes it's like quiet, and sometimes there's like drunken arguments in the back that I, we're like, oh, that was funny. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> It is interesting. I'm kinda, it's interesting. I'm I, here for it. I had a neighbor back in Hollywood. We lived in this courtyard, and it was very Melrose Place like. If you've seen the TV show, where like all of you face mm -hmm. the and Melrose Place was a pool, but we had a fountain. And there was one neighbor that was very odd. Like yeah. they, like she would come over and say that she had relations with a ghost yeah oh you told me about her yeah, yeah. and i and she wouldn't leave <laughs> and i'd be like okay well hope you have a good day and then like knock 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 oh do you mind if i give a tour of your house to like a friend of mine what Why? <laughs> yes so yeah there are those yes. neighbors where you're just like okay bye <laughs> let's see the final folks. vote uh 61 of you say yes oh wow you do like your neighbor that's a good thing that's okay. great all right